Buenos dias, buenos dias to this lazy Sunday where we're going to be looking into some of the best yield opportunities with our content partners at Persistence and on Dexter, which probably is still running under the radar for most of you, even though if you're a customer out. But first of all, let's look into the markets. We're seeing Bitcoin around 65K over the weekend, Ethereum 3300. And yeah, the rest, nothing much is happening, pretty flat, um, slightly down. So I think we're still in this um, correction phase before we then enter the pre halving rally which starts in my view early april let's see let's see this is just my random guess here my random thesis if we look inside the cosmos ecosystem also nothing much happening slightly down for most coins here stride has seen a 10 percent um uh, dump yesterday some whale were was dumping some strd tokens and uh, that caused the price to flash crash but also just keep in mind right all of these coins all of these tokens that are relatively new. They still have relatively thin liquidity. They still are very reactive to major trades, right? To the upside, but also to the downside. But for the Stride token specifically, right? This has been above like $7 the other day. And it has been at 20 cents just a couple of months ago, right? So I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not worried about that at all. But um, yeah, it's just important to understand how um, thin liquidity affects the volatility of a token right anyways moving over to dexter which is a dex residing on top of the persistence one blockchain there's also no native token for dexter the native token is actually xprt so that's also one of its core utilities and moving forward i think gets more and more important as dexter gets more and more successful and we can already see in my view providing liquidity LPing, staking yield farming lending those are all bull run products, right? Because people really, really care about yield in a bull run because they can basically boost their earnings and they can boost and go kind of and, and leverage their, their positions, right? And the cool thing here is that persistence is not only an L1, persistence is not only one of the leading liquid staking providers in Cosmos, but it's also a DeFi platform that they're building around it, right? And it's also probably one of the core differentiators to Stride because Stride exclusively focuses on liquid staking and liquid staking only. And you can already see here, you have the biggest pool with $4.6 million in liquidity that has an APR of 42%. And this is probably the best, um, the best pool right now across Cosmos DeFi, at least for STK Atom liquidity. If we compare this to Osmosis, for example, we see there's also an Atom STK Atom pool, but only 12% APR. This does not count in the staking APR though, so it's around 19%. If you calculate the uh, staking rewards that STK Atom, which makes half of the pool. Um, on Quasar, you also have pools, but you don't have an STK Atom pool yet. You have an STK Osmo Osmo pool though. That is also some of the best performing pools across Cosmos DeFi. Um, there were days when it generated 71% net APR um, in, in a day, um, annualized, of course. But uh, this is also a very interesting pool here. And if we look at Astroport on Neutron, we can see there's also an STK Atom Atom pool, but this is not incentivized. There's also not really any trading volume, but it's decent liquidity though. Um, but yeah, that's about that. And yeah, going back to Dexter, I think there are some very, very interesting pools. If you filter this by APR, this is one that I also aped in the other day, the Stars STK Stars pool, which now has only around 100K in liquidity. And um, yeah, 132% APR. Note that most of this APR obviously comes through PSIC incentives, right? So you have XPRT, which is a native coin to the persistence one chain. And then you have PSIC, which is native to the PSIC application, mainly as a governance token, but also as an incentive token. And this is how they are now aggressively rolling out and bootstrapping new token liquidities, new SDK token liquidity, but also boosting existing pools or basically branching out into other ecosystems by yeah, heavily incentivizing that with PSIC, right? And if you look at the competitors, right? I mean, Stride is doing that with um, Dime and TR liquidity. For their TR liquid staking program, they're actually allocating 5% of the total supply of STRD tokens, which is a lot, a lot. So that's about that. Um, check out some of these pools. There's also, um, yeah, interesting stablecoin pools. That's what I wanted to show as well. 42%, actually I made a, a video about that also the other day, there's 500K in liquidity there, but earning 42% in XPRT mostly, 
in this pool um, as incentives, that's very nice, very, very decent. And yeah, that's a very interesting pool um, with USDC and USDT. And I think also the stars SDK stars pool is a, is a very interesting one. And you can already see I earned uh, almost 300 bucks here in P-Stake tokens. So that is pumping, that is pumping and I like it. I'm very happy about that. So that's uh, very interesting. At the same time, I'm also obviously um, kind of long P-Stake here, right? Because um, if you're saying I'm short P-Stake, probably this isn't for you, right? If you're saying I'm short XPRT, probably this isn't for you. But if you're saying I'm at least neutral or even long P-Stake, we are in a bull run, liquid staking is getting big. They are aggressively rolling out more and more liquidity. They're hitting important milestones, right? Um, TVL all-time highs, trading volume all-time highs. They're growing, they're expanding, they're adding new assets, right? Like they did with SDK Stars just recently. They're also one of the most capital efficient um, DEXs on uh, Cosmos, right? For stable swaps. So this is very interesting. But if you really look at some of the stats here, you can see that this is, um, yeah, this is nice to see the growth here. They basically 4 x almost their TVL over the past four to five months. So this is very, very interesting. And like I said earlier, they are other than Stride or Quicksilver or any other Cosmos native liquid staking provider. They also focus on outside of Cosmos, right? So they have this BSC integration um, for liquid staked BNB, which is also something they're pushing hard. And um, they also just announced a partnership with PancakeSwap. So if you're from the BNB community, there's also something for you there. There's also incentives and so on and so forth. If you want to like really go deep into those things, I also strongly recommend you to follow the c zone account that we're having here on Twitter. This is where we're also sharing in-depth updates and um, yeah, deep dives on those kind of integrations, partnerships, milestone achievements, because it is very interesting. But yeah, going back to Dexter itself, like I said, there's interesting yield opportunities. And I think this is also a great alternative to um, osmosis itself, right? And to other DEXs in the Cosmos ecosystem. And yeah, I think the UX and UI is very, very smooth. You can also just do IBC transfers directly here on the assets tab, how you're also used to it from osmosis if you're coming from there. And yeah, it's very intuitive, very straightforward. You also have a rebate program going on for SDK Atom people. So that applies for you in the SDK Atom, Atom pool. And yeah, they have a lot of these interesting things. And I think they're also very, approachable, right? If you have any feedback, if you have any questions, if you want to do any changes on the UX, if you have any great ideas to improve the DEX, then you can just reach out to them or also reach out to me. I can connect you with them. And they're always very in in interested to listen, also to user feedback and improve the platform, right? Because this is now where we're at. And yeah, this is, in my view, is still one of the best pools right now in Cosmos DeFi um, and also like just generally the SDK Atom pool, Atom and um, the stablecoin pool, right? USDC, USDT, I really like those. But always watch out for new things, right? There are more uh, liquid stake assets coming soon with SDK Huawei around the corner. There's also going to be SDK BLD and more. So watch out for that. Lastly, I want to send you also to the brand new Cito.Zone website. Please play around with it. Give me feedback. Tell me, what can you improve? What do you want? What do you need? What is missing on this website? Is there anything wrong here? Is there a typo? Is there anything that we need, we need to change or make adjustments? Um, and yeah, you can even submit your own content, right? This is a feature that we're going to launch um, in the future. Um, we're almost ready to basically launch it. Best way you can also submit your own content, right? We have a whole um, ecosystem news segment we can uh, you can upload featured content there. We're gonna vet that before publishing it, and then it's gonna be uh, here on the website. And here on the C2 research tab, you can also find um, articles and um, uh, tweets that we're pushing here, and so on and so forth. And then the end game for the site is going to be the airdrops tab. This is going to be the end game. We're still working on the concept of that. If you have any suggestions on how we can make that airdrops tab as productive as possible and as user-friendly as possible for you, right? I'm also an active airdrop person and an airdrop optimizer, right? I wouldn't say I'm an airdrop hunter, but I'm an airdrop optimizer. And I personally, what I would love to have is just one tool where you connect your wallet and you basically, it harvests your airdrops automatically for you, right? This is obviously very expensive and very hard to build. I think Leap has, has done a great job so far, but I think what 
our airdrop site is going to be either an integration of Leap directly um, or we're building something like that, which is very simple and straightforward, where you just either connect your wallet or you have all the information, you go to a claim page and you can claim it yourself. It's also safe, it's vetted. There's no scam links, no scam URLs. So this is what I would love to do, but let me know what you think we should be doing with that tab, right? We're still, we're still thinking about it. And just generally here also on the about page, you will see not only my story, like how I started it and what was kind of the, the mission and what's my philosophy, my, my vision about crypto and how I see the entire space, but also you'll see our team here, right? And we're now a core team of four, but we also have editors. We have at least two or three editors. It obviously depends on the quantity of videos that we send into editing, into like professional editing. Um, now, obviously, I'm doing a lot more screen share videos like the one that you saw today, even for our content partners. I think this is just something that goes better with the flow of, of this videos, of, of this YouTube channel. But let me know also what type of content you, you like, what you appreciate, right? We obviously have also Splitting Atom, the show with Jack. Um, not too many interviews these days anymore, but also we're now going uh, yeah, more heavily on the Cito Español to bootstrap the Spanish speaking community. We're using AI for that. So that's really cool. Check that out as well. We have Tang, our lead researcher, who's now with us for almost a year, which is crazy to think. And obviously Basil, who is doing strategy, marketing, and just overall helps with amplifying content and to be honest running a channel at that size and i'm far away from a million subscribers right i'm also aware of that but it's a lot pushing daily videos is not easy to be honest um so i really rely on my team also to help me on that um because otherwise um yeah this would not be possible final thing subscribe to our c2 report to our newsletter i think this is probably one of the most underrated things that we're doing but we're already in the 10th um, the 10th edition of our newsletter, right? This is a monthly report where we're sh sharing the highlights of the month. This is um, most viewed videos that we're sharing, latest video, but also just highlights in terms of what, what's been cooking in the ecosystem. What were some of the milestone achievements, right? And this is across every chain that uh, pops up to, to our radar, right? That uh, we think is, is worthy to mention here. This is also about proposals that are passing. It's about milestones that are being hit. Um, the airdrop, like I said earlier, there's also links to airdrop. So I think this is also one of the most alpha packed newsletters in all crypto, because here we are sharing things way, way, way ahead of them being even live, right? For example, we, we talked about this here, and this is from last month about the ST Dime airdrop, um, about ST Dime being, being launched in March, right? So if you're early with those things, if you were early by um, farming the STTR airdrop on Stride, you probably maximize your potential, your, your yield, your um, returns, right? We, we were sharing charts here, like this crazy chart on how Stride basically out of nowhere, no time, overtook Milky Way, which has been on the market for four months at this point already, and overtook them in TVL for STTR. Now Stride is market leader for TIA as well. Uh, crazy, crazy to see. Also milestone achievements here bringing restaking to the Cosmos ecosystem. Persistence One also now has this partnership with Babylon to bring Bitcoin staking to Cosmos um, into protocol. Obviously, this is from, from our content partners, also Aleph Zero. So we have a full segment for that. We have a full segment for um, some of the highlights just in the ecosystem, right? Also on modular blockchains, right? So this is just, in my view, the best content source for the Cosmos ecosystem. And to be honest, just reading that newsletter alone, if you're saying, hey, I don't have the time to watch the daily videos, but I want to be up to date, I want to stay up to date about airdrops, right? This is one that we shared a month ago, NIM airdrop. Um, also this one, A-I-G-I-O-S. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we talked about this a very, very, very long time ago, right? With links, safe and secure links to, um, yeah, to be to be on your radar as early as possible, right? Um, and then on top of that, I'm also doing claim tutorials when these things go live. We also do it on the Sexito account with Liam. And with that, I'll leave you for the rest of the Sunday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video here on Cryptocito. Until then, stay safe and be good.